Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There is a big fight coming up in the heavyweight division between two guys I disagree with the public on. Right, it's Adlener Solis, the shadow, versus the kingpin, Kevin Johnson. Now, I think in terms of skills, and I'm talking about the ability to do things with your talent, right? Talent's being able to throw the ball 90 miles an hour, right? That's a talent not everyone has. Skills is when you're able to take that talent and find a way to locate the pitches, right? To me, that's a skill. Uh, that's a skill. These two guys, to me, are two of the most skilled guys in the sport. They've thought it through. And interestingly enough, both guys fought Vitaly Klitschko. Now understand, Vitaly is a guy who destroys opponents. I know Bernard Hopkins talks about how he destroys opponents and how their careers are never the same after they faced him. You know what? Bernard doesn't hit for his size remotely as hard as Vitaly Klitschko does for his. I believe Vitaly Klitschko has destroyed careers, right? He's the kind of guy who, when he has the upper hand and he steps on the gas, whether it's against Sam Peter who quit, think about it, and this was when Peter had the belt, right? Or whether it's Shannon Briggs who got so beaten up that there was a lawsuit after the fight. Look it up. Vitaly Klitschko is a guy who really destroys you. I'm not sure if Tomasa Demick is ever going to remotely resemble the Tomasa Demick that he was before the Vitaly Klitschko fight. He certainly hasn't since then, right? He fought against Steve Cunningham. I thought he got a gift. He really doesn't look like the kind of fearsome fighter who at one point beat Chris Ariola, right? That's because I believe Vitaly Klitschko really is one of the most offensively gifted fighters in the division. Now, I thought it was interesting. The Kevin Johnson fight. Kevin Johnson is probably the first person I've seen go up against Vitaly Klitschko, get defensive, back up on the ropes. I know the fight looked dull, but what was interesting was seeing a guy literally without running play defense against Vitaly Klitschko and have the fight go the distance. And at the end of the fight, let's just say Johnson didn't look like Shannon Briggs. He looked like a guy who had been overwhelmed, but who had the defensive skills to lean on the ropes, very hard to do, lean on the ropes, pick off shots, not have too many shots hit him flush. I know the fight's one-sided, but all I'm saying is not too many heavyweights can do that. You have a lot of elite heavyweights, Kubrat Pulev comes to mind, who needs to be in the middle of the ring to survive, right? You don't have a lot of guys who could be pinned against, in my opinion, a great champion and actually survive. Kevin Johnson survived. I'm actually impressed with that guy's defensive skills. Look at the tape. He has his hand like this. He's rolling his shoulder. He's hard to find even for the heavyweight champion. Now, people here online know that I consider Adlener Solis to be championship level, right? I was looking forward to his fight against Vitaly Klitschko. I thought he was going to beat Vitaly Klitschko. Unfortunately, he tore his ACL and blew out his knee at the end of a first round where he looked good in that round. And more importantly, he was moving around the ring. Now, let me challenge the public here. Every time I mention Adlener Solis, I get several comments here online criticizing the guy's physique. 
right? There was a time where heavyweights had body fat. I want folks to go back and look at Larry Holmes, right? This Vladimir Klitschko body beautiful era is really new. Sometimes a guy can lack definition like Tyson Fury right now and be a hell of a fighter. Let me just say, I consider two of the best heavyweights in the world, and I mean, I think both of these guys, you know, have the capability to be champs right now, to be Adlanir Solis and Andy Ruiz. Now, neither of these guys is going to come close to winning a bodybuilding contest, right? Even I'll concede that. But in the ring, they have few peers, right? Now, Solis is a guy who has his hands up. Great defense, can throw bombs from this position. In other words, it looks like he's just going like this. In reality, he shifted all of his weight, and this punch has leverage. You know what? He fought Monty Barrett. Now, keep in mind, Monty Barrett has gone several rounds. In fact, he beat David Tua, right? Barrett's a guy who's been in the ring with elite heavyweights and Monty Barrett looks like he's been in a car crash when he gets knocked out by Adlanir Solis. If you look at the film you never see Solis pull back for a punch. Solis is in his stance and he's just throwing short punches that don't look like much. But you know they're a lot. Just by looking at Monty Barrett's reaction. Barrett's getting moved by the punches. Right? Solis throws very hard. I like Adlanir Solis in this fight. While I think both of these guys are talented, I think Solis is a guy who can fight outside and can fight inside. I think if Kevin Johnson sets up shop up on the ropes, I think Islander Solis can actually come inside and do more damage than Vitaly Klitschko did, right? I understand he doesn't look like an athlete. Just understand he is an athlete. Let me point out, too, that sometimes the looks are deceiving because just as Solis outmaneuvered Vitaly Klitschko, in the first round of their fight, if you actually look at his movement in the ring, he's moving, right? Maybe he doesn't have a David Hay body, but he's doing David Hay things, right? He's moving around the ring. He's excellent inside. He's an excellent counterpuncher. He's a thinking man's fighter. Both of these guys are. I just feel, though, that Kevin Johnson is at his best when he's operating behind a jab from distance, right? I get the feeling that Johnson is the kind of guy who's either offensive or defensive, right? He's on or he's off. He's positive or he's negative. I think in boxing, you have to be both at the same time. It has to be a gig where... You're blocking a punch, and as you block the punch, you're rolling and you're hitting the guy with a punch, right? I just feel that Adelaide Solis does that much better than Kevin Johnson and most heavyweights. If he were to fight Vitaly Klitschko today, I would take him again today. Let me just point out, I would not expect him to tear an ACL again in the match. Freak things happen in boxing. Quite frankly, I believe Adlanir Solis has the skill set to beat both Klitschkos. I understand I sound like a loon online. Fair enough. I'm just giving you an unvarnished opinion. So I like Adlanir Solis here. Let me go one step further. I encourage everyone to keep an eye <clears throat> on heavyweight Andy Ruiz. He's below radar right now. I'm just here to tell you He's the real deal. Don't let the body fat fool you. Understand, too, what the body fat does, right, is it actually hides the guy's size. 
I know it sounds counterintuitive, but you see a guy who's chubby, and you don't realize he's six two. Right? You don't <laughs> you don't realize that he's a physically big man. You also don't realize how hard he is to move around the ring. Right? And as we've learned. Some of these big men are like Jackie Gleason was. Some of them are light on their feet. Many of these guys could be offensive linemen in the National Football League, right? So I like Adlanir Solis here. Uh, I'm not going to call a distance on the fight. I'm not even going to hedge the play. I'm just picking Solis to win the fight. You're not going to get rich on the fight, but I think Solis wins this. And I'm also encouraging you to keep an eye on Andy Ruiz. Vitaly Klitschko is about to run for political office. Vitaly Klitschko is also now in his 40s. The one unbeaten champ in boxing is Father Time. Sooner or later, even great fighters, yes, even Bernard Hopkins, is going to have to step away from the sport. Right? When you see a fighter like Klitschko, who's already, in my opinion, established himself as one of the great boxing champions in the heavyweight division's history, right? Certainly a boxing Hall of Famer. When you see a fighter like Vitaly Klitschko actually looking at interests outside the ring that are time-consuming, like politics, where presumably he'd have to run a campaign and have at it. It's going to take some of his time. I know he ran for office before. Then you have to realize that He's already planning his exit strategy from the sport. If the sport opens up, who is going to take the mantle? Right? My point to you is simply, the heavyweights are lining themselves up. Tyson Fury's fighting David Hay. Solis is fighting Kevin Johnson. Right? Kubert Pulev just won a big match. Keep an eye on these guys. They're all... Credible competitors for the throne. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.